All right, it's GED question of the daytime, and we're looking at another geometry word problem. Probably by now you're thinking, is she ever going to run out of these? Um, but I just want to make sure that you get a chance to look at every little trick the GED can throw at you. Um, so I like this one. Um, now, the way that I'm going to solve it today is algebraically using the formula. It's not the only way to solve this. You could do it arithmetically as well. Lots of students do it very well arithmetically. But I'm in the middle of practicing my basic algebra with my students. So let's look at it using the formula. How about I read the question? Let's start there. Sorry, I got ahead of myself. So a rectangle has an area of 42 square inches. If the width of the rectangle is 8 inches, what is the length? So as usual, when looking at a word problem, you ask, have to ask yourself, where am I going and where am I starting? Uh, what, am, what are they asking me to find and what have I been given? So I see here that they're asking me to find the length, uh, let's see, how about green? They're asking me to find the length of a rectangle. We've been talking about a rectangle and they're asking what is the length. So they want us to find length. Now, you know, in algebra class, we're too lazy to spell. So when I think about this, I say, well, they're asking me to find length. Yeah, they're asking me to find L. Uh, and I'm just so lazy. I just write L for length. Okay. Now, that's what I've been asked to find. Now, what have I been given? What have I been given? Well, let's look at the information we know. What do we know? Well, one thing we know is our rectangle has an area of 42 inches. We know that our area, and again, I'm too lazy to spell, so can we just say areas A is 42 inches, and or I'm sorry, 42 square inches. And we know one more thing this time. We know the width of the rectangle is 8 inches. We know our width is eight inches. Now, a lot of students are freaking out right now because they're like, Kate, you are tricking me into doing algebra. I haven't tricked you into doing any algebra yet. I'm just too lazy to spell, okay, you guys? This is the width is eight. <laughs> Literally, I am just writing an English sentence in an abbreviated way. That's all I'm doing um, when I write these, this particular little, uh, for, or, um, these are actually literally equations down here, but when I write these statements down here, I'm just uh, just abbreviating, okay? So now what am I gonna do with this information? Well, as it turns out, we have a formula that relates L, A, and W, and it's on your formula sheet. So let's go take a look. The area of a rectangle formula, as we saw it, is A is equal to L, W, and the L and the W just seem to be shoved together. Let's remember that when a letter, uh, when letters are just shoved together with no sign in between them, in algebra they are multiplying. So this is to find the area, multiply the length and the width. Okay, now the first thing you want to do um, after you write down your formula is to plug in the information you know. So we know some things. We know our A. We had said, hey, our A isn't a mystery. Our A is 42. And so where I once saw A in my formula, I'm going to come right under it and I'm going to write the number 42. I'm going to drop down that equal sign from above uh, because we don't change signs and symbols when we substitute into a formula. Notice L is the thing I'm finding, and so L is not going to change. But W, I know, W is not a mystery. I know the width or the W in this formula. That's 8, and so I need to put an 8 here under W. Now remember what I said this L and this W were doing if they were shoved together? They're multiplying. Now, I have to tell you the truth. This formula that I've written here is totally correct. There's absolutely nothing wrong with it, but it looks really funny to me as a mathematician, and that's because I know something. I know that in algebra, when we want to multiply together a letter, like L, and a number, like 8, we actually reverse the order. We usually write the number first and the letter second. And so I'm going to erase this little expression here, L times 8, and I'm going to write it like a mathematician would. And your math teacher will skip right to this step. They will never tell you why they're changing the order. But that's just why, because it's more normal to write the number first and the letter second. So they'll probably just write 8L on the board, and you'll be like, how come it flipped? 
well, you know, just like 3 times 4 is the same as 4 times 3, L times 8 is the same as 8 times L. And this way of writing is more normal. So, um, now, I need to solve this equation. Um, I need to solve for L to figure out what L is. And so the way to do that, currently 8 and L are multiplying. Well, when you want to solve an algebra, when you want to get a letter alone, you do the opposite. So the opposite of multiply is divide. I'm going to divide that 8 away. And the rule is uh, that I can do whatever I want to an equation as long as I do it to both sides. So I'll divide by 8 on that side. Now, 8 divided by 8 cancels, leaving me with just L alone. And there's the math to do. 42 divided by 8 is not gonna be perfect so I am going to bust out my calculator 42 divided by 8 and I get 5.25 and 5.25 what well remember that length is just a line down a square it's uh, or down a rectangle it's one of the sides it's just a line and so this will be 5.25 regular plain old inches I know area is measured in square inches, but dimensions, like length and width, are, mary, are measured in regular inches. Great. So this is 5.25 is my final answer. If you have any questions, be sure to drop them uh, in the comments.